We now determine the rate of change of f at the point 1, 2, 6 in the direction of the vector v given by 3i minus 4j. So basically we find the directional derivative of f in the direction of v vector. So we write this as dv of f and this equals the gradient of f times the unit vector v. So let's uh, use this uh, formula to find the directional derivative of f. So for that, uh, I'm going to consider this function f. This equals uh, 2x squared plus uh, y squared. Since we want to find the gradient of f, we should find the corresponding partial derivatives. So first, let's find the partial derivative of f with respect to x. And this equals uh, the derivative of uh, 2x squared with respect to x is uh, 4x. Uh, and then uh, the derivative of y squared, since we find derivative with respect to x, that is partial derivative of f with respect to x, this y is treated as constant. And so this is the partial derivative of f with respect to x. We evaluate this uh, at the point uh, 1, 2, 6. And so this equals uh, 4 times of replace x by 1. And so this gives uh, 4. Now let's find the partial derivative of f with respect to y. And so this equals, uh, we find the derivative of the right side expression partially with respect to y. And this means uh, we consider this uh, 2x squared term as constant. Its derivative will become zero. So we just find only the derivative of y squared, which is uh, 2y. We then evaluate this uh, at the point uh, 1, 2, 6. And so this gives uh, two times of replace y by two. And uh, this one is also 4. So we find the gradient of f at the point 1, 2, 6, which is uh, 4, 4. So first we write down this uh, gradient f at the given point uh, 1, 2, 6. And this basically equals uh, 4, 4. And this is a vector. Now we should find a unit vector in the direction of a v vector. And so this is given by the formula v vector divided by the magnitude of uh, v vector. And so this equals uh, 3i minus uh, 4j. And then divided by the find the magnitude, we should take the square root and uh, sum of the squares of the components. That is uh, 3 squared plus uh, negative 4 squared. And so this uh, equals 3i minus 4j. This is divided by 3 square is 9 plus 9 to 4 square is 16. And this simplifies to 9 plus 16 is 25. So I replace this by 25. And the square root of 25 is 5. So we have 3i minus 4j divided by 5. Let's write this in component form. So this equals uh, the first component is uh, 3 fifth. The next component is uh, negative 4 fifth. This is the unit vector in the direction of V vector. And so we dot this with the with this gradient of F so that we get a directional derivative. So we should dot it with this one. Or in fact, uh, I can write down this directional derivative of f in the direction of uh, v, this equals uh, the gradient of f evaluated at the point uh, 1, 2, 6. And this has to be dot with the unit vector v. And so this equals gradient of f is uh, 4, 4. This has to be dot with this one. This is the unit vector. So it is uh, 3 fifth, negative 4 fifth. We then find the product of the corresponding components. This 4 times uh, 3 by 5, which is uh, 12 by 5. We add because uh, a dot product is a scalar. So then we multiply 4 times with the negative 4 by 5, which will be negative 16 by 5. We have the common denominator 5. This means uh, we can combine the numerators. This is 16, 12 minus 16, or 5, 
and this equals uh, negative 4, 12 minus 16 is negative 4 so this equals uh, negative 4 fifths and so therefore this is the rate of change of f uh, at the point uh, in the direction of the given vector and this means uh, answer choice b is correct